Oh, I am telling you, Eddie, this weekend is going to be perfect. Mm. Well, we're together. How can it miss? <laughs> you such a little fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Lo Cirillo here with the Idle Rich. You must be Eddie Main. No, he mustn't. No, he could be anybody. But I will tell you one thing, loud and clear. Whoever he is, he's with me. Capiche? Okay, great. So, let's start this up again, shall we? Do you have any rooms for us, Seattle Rich? Uh, of course, Miss Sorella. We've been expecting you. Just give me a minute. Okay. Hi. I tell you, what do I have to do? Stop carrying around a crowbar to pry up all the women? What women? You really don't see him, do you? <laughs> Why bother to look? <gasps> I already found the one I love. Oh. I bet you the acoustics in here are great. Wow. Oh, and look at that stage. There's plenty of room for you to work your magic, huh? And I intend to make use of every inch of it. I'm taking no prisoners tonight. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> I don't know what it is, Lois. But I am so pumped about this gig tonight. I don't know whether it's the frustrated adrenaline from the, the gig I missed last time, or... I don't know what it is. But I can't wait to take that stage tonight. That's because we're doing it, Eddie. All of our dreams, all of our visions, they're about to manifest themselves. You know, I look at you guys, and you are so totally awesome. It is like... It's like you're all plugged into the same electrical socket, you know? Pow! <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, I can tell you right from the gut, we are standing on the brink. Of what? The next step of our collective path. Huh? Going national. Okay, and there it is. Oh, right on cue. It's the look. All right, Eddie. Is there something you want to tell me? Hmm? Huh? Something maybe along the lines of uh, commitment? Is there any way we can avoid this argument right now? How long do you think you can keep running away from this, Eddie? I'm not. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, your body is. I need your heart. I need your soul. Eddie, we are on a fast-moving train, an express, straight out of obscurity. Once we leave the station, it's a long ride till the next stop. So all aboard is coming aboard. So what's it going to be? You know, sometimes you think this is easy for me. Well, it's not. It's very complicated. So we can simplify it. You have the power to do that. You're the only one who does. Eddie? We're so close to having everything we've ever wanted, baby. Can't you just... Can't you feel it, too? Yes, yes. And I can't tell you how many hours I spend in the middle of the night wanting to take this chance and run with it. Yes, yes, now you're talking. But then I look at it in the clear light of day, at the reality staring at me in the face and what that would mean. No, no, Eddie, if you mention that damn job to me, I'm going to just scream. It's my life, Lois. It does matter to me. No, this is your life, Eddie. No, no, you know what this is? This whole music business scene, it's a crapshoot. Okay, I could... I could give up everything that I spent years building and end up with nothing. It's just not an easy decision to make. Right. Look at you. I mean, you, you're getting yourself all tied up over, in, in knots over here. Well, don't you get it? This is a very emotional subject for me, okay? I'm just trying to make you understand that. All right. Well, then we'll just let it go, okay? Okay, because the last thing that I need tonight is, is a head case for Lee Simmons. All right? Besides, uh, we're here to have fun, and, and that's what we're having if it kills us. Oh, look who just walked in. Ma! Ma! Hi, Ma. Hi, Ma. Hi, Hi sweetheart. Hi, 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 How are you, honey? Oh, oh, good. Good. good to see you. Good to see you. 
So what's the matter, Pops? You can't say hello to my boyfriend? Hello. Hello, Mr. Sorello. I'm glad you could make it. I could say the same about you. What's the idea of blowing off my little girl? Eddie and I already worked this out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So give it a rest. I guess you didn't know. I couldn't make the gig at the Outback because of an unavoidable medical crisis. Mm. So I heard. He had a sore throat. Carmine. It was laryngitis. There's a difference. Yeah. About a hundred bucks in some fancy doctor's office. Let me give you a little piece of advice, young oh, Why me? Why would somebody please answer that? If you want to make it as a musician, it's not enough to love it. Anybody can blow hot air around. You've got to be willing to put your butt on the line. I understand that. Yeah? Not yeah. so as I can tell. You left my baby standing there with her face hanging out. How am I supposed to be comfortable watching her stake her career uh, uh, on some clown who does know enough to take this business seriously? I'm sorry. Clown? Uh, Carmine? Honey, just a thought. Mm. Perhaps your opinion in this situation isn't helpful. Perhaps your baby girl is right and she and Eddie can work out their own problems. Again, I stress, just a thought. When I was a drummer, nothing could stop me from making a gig. I broke my hand one time. You know what I did? I snuck out of emergency and played two sets anyway. Ended up with my hand in a cast for two months. But believe you me, that show went on. Eddie is a singer, not a drummer. What's that got to do with anything? Drummers are screwy in the head. Everybody knows that. I thought it was your pinky pops. What? The last time you told the story, you had a sprained pinky. What difference does it make? It still hurt like hell. The point I'm trying to make here is a real musician seizes the moment. You miss your break. There's no guarantee it's going to come back looking for you. Close. Are you really going to look me in the eye and tell me? Tell me that, that you want some bum to be responsible for you missing your chance after all your hard work. Pop, we are not having this conversation in a vacuum. Eddie is standing right over there. First you call him a clown. Now he's a bum? What are you trying to do? Murder me by humiliation? I call things the way I see them. Well, you want to know the way I see it? I am over 21 years old, which means I can make my own decisions and my own mistakes, whatever. All right, don't come home crying to me then. Don't you, don't you tell her she can't come home. Lois, sweetheart, you can always come home. Shame on you, Carmine. Excuse me. May I say something here? Mr. Sorello, I don't blame you for doubting my commitment. I did let Lois down, and I promise you, it will never happen again. You see, Carmen, he's, try he's making everything nice. It better not happen again. Oh, <laughs> look at your daughter, Carmine. She's mortified. Are you happy now? He's just looking out for her. I understand. You're a very sweet boy. And we're looking forward to those golden pipes of yours. Now, Carmen, let's take that uh, walk, that walk we were talking about. What walk? I was just about to order a drink. Yeah, I know. You can order it from the bar. We'll take it out, okay? Goodbye, kids. We'll see you All later. Right. Thanks, Ma. Well, you handled that very well. Uh, clown. That I am. Oh, hey, come on. Don't take it personally. You know, he's a father. He's overprotective. You should have seen him when I first started dating. Oof. <laughs> kind of glad I missed that. <sighs> oh, listen, i got to make a phone call. Eddie. No, I... it... Don't worry. It'll be very quick. You won't even miss me. How's that possible? <laughs> Try to stay out of trouble till I'm gone, okay? 